When I was in sixth grade, a group of popular girls at my school were saying they wanted to be friends only with those who are pure and clean, meaning only those girls who had been cut. That was the very first time I had my peers discussing the topic. I wasn't sure whether or not I had been through the procedure. So I went home that day and I asked my mom, I was so excited when my mom answered yes. At school the next day, I joined the popular group in shaming the girls who hadn't been cut. Solima, we called them. Then in middle school, I joined a club that taught us how harmful FGM is to the girls who are cut and to society. I felt ashamed and guilty for all the girls I had shamed for not being cut. I wondered how many of them had gone home and asked their families to subject them to FGM. I was also angry at my community for continuing to subject girls and women to something so unnecessary and painful. So I started having conversations with my family about the harmful effects of the practice. And when I didn't succeed at home, I talked about it on the radio and made them listen. Over the years, I have engaged in education and advocacy work, traveling across communities in the Gambia, hosting radio talk shows, presenting in various classrooms in the U.S., and even testifying before a Vermont Senate committee on a bill criminalizing FGM. And yet, as my activism grows, one thing continues to trouble me. How do I convince the world to end such a horrible practice? when I still cannot convince some of my own family members.